Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and a comedy music fan, and this week I am reacting to the brand new song by the stupendium, The Toy Box, which is their poppy playtime song that has taken months and months and months and almost a full year of pre-production work. Uh, it's finally out. Today, actually. As my reaction is being released the same day as the video, because Stupendium was kind enough to send me a link to the song before its release. Also, folks on Patreon, on Stupendium's Patreon, got to see it early, uh, and if you were on my Patreon, you got to see my reaction early. Go support the creators you like, is all I'm saying. Anyway, uh, I know absolutely nothing about Poppy's Playtime. Uh, Poppy Playtime, Poppy's Playtime, whatever the heck it is. Thankfully, Stupendium told me a little bit about it, said that it's basically bendy, where you've got an evil thing made from a kid's thing. So, in bendy, it's made from a cartoon, in this one, it's an evil bunch of toys. Also, there's a description in the video that I'm actually going to read, because that gives some details. I've never heard of this game. I play console games, so the world of PC gaming tends to elude me. So, bear with me, I'm actually going to read the description this time. Uh, deep in the bowels of Playtime Company, there are secrets to uncover. Poppy Playtime is your classic boy-meets-girl story. Except the boy is a former employee of an abandoned toy factory where everyone met when missing who has been summoned back years later by a mysterious message, and the girl is an ominous living doll trapped in a glass case who may or may not be made out of a human being, and instead of a romance there is Huggy Wuggy, a giant fuzzy blue abomination determined to hug you into a fine paste. Neat. Uh, this is a mammoth project uh, for them to, to go about. And also, there's a disclaimer which I am going to address here as well. Uh, Stupendium writes, I am, aware, I am aware of the recent controversies around Poppy Playtime, both the NFTs and other accusations. If you've already seen the video above or any of my other videos, you will hopefully understand how big my projects are and how long they take to make. This one has been in production for a long time. I started work on it last year when the game first released and before any of the recent developments. So apparently there's a bit of controversy with the game NFTs. Um, but we won't hold that against Stupendium because, like I said, this has been in production, pre-production for a while. Uh, this was a big expensive project with months of work behind it, and despite the unpleasantness that has surrounded the game of late, I was not in a position to be able to cancel the project so far along and throw away all of that work. The loss of time and money would have been crippling. So I'm pretty sure we're glad that they didn't do that. Um, but yes. Uh, so if you don't wish to support the project, uh, you know, you don't have to watch this or their full video, which is linked in the description below, but we're going to do that. Yes, three minutes in now, we're finally getting to the video. I'm going to try to do that time code thing, see if that works in the description. I like to uh, talk. But anyway, all of that out of the way, without any further ado, now we're getting to the new Stupendium song, the Poppy Playtime song, The Toy Box. I'm excited. Let's make sure the volume is good before I hit play. Yes, okay. Good times! Aha! Preparedness! Smash it! Pick it in! Crack it! It's the button all the kids are pressing! The stupendium subscribe button! What? <laughs> the more and more turning the click the subscribe button at the beginning of the video is turning into an ad. Uh, I'm all here for it. That's That's fantastic especially after the salesman pitch in the uh delta rune song ad infinitum uh yeah good the one that melted my brain you guys seem to like that video hmm. wow from playtime co <laughs> radical just the amount of color and th that voice also Stoops is, is great at, at vocal uh, acting, I should say, you know. They're a voice actor, they've appeared in games as characters, and they play different characters in their songs, but 
changing the voice, the way the voice sounds, the timbre of it, doing a character voice is always impressive to me, especially in when doing song. That's it's an extra touch in in songs that I appreciate. And also just the color of this, just the colors look like We Happy Few, but we know that that's not the case. But I love the rosy cheeks and the curled stash. It's gonna be a good one. I haven't even started yet, I'm sorry. Whatever, I pause a lot. It's gonna happen. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, but she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. The calliope music is slowly getting deteriorating and it's, it's, a, it's a warning sign of things to come. Come take a tour behind the doors where dreams are made Where boys and girls around the world can come to play I already see marketing possibilities when this song takes off. People are going to want their own stipendium doll. They have the snuggle pendium. We know that. But, uh... Yeah, make making. It's like it's like the weirdest Toy Story fan fiction in crossed with a horror movie already in my brain. That's what's happening. I just noticed that's a toy microphone. Also, that is a giant set. That is, that is, number one, it's an incredible set dressing with the little Huggy dolls in the background and Huggy says remember to take breaks, which may be from inside the game. But also, Stoops is in a box like he's, like they are a, a, a boxed toy with artwork on the side of, of like a cartoonized stoops already. We're not even a full minute into the song and I've paused four times. Uh, sorry, not sorry. Uh, and the pre-production, the, the production levels on this, not pre-production, production. The production levels on this are already astounding. Uh, and also, again, like every stupendium song, already catchy. Thanks. Gonna be stuck in my head. No, you won't be on your own, but you can always make a friend. So what else she can depend? <laughs> not the fun will never end. Cause we're much too close to pray. But just maybe we could bend the light. Okay. There's a I'm hoping that's a visual effect. I hope Stupendium's eye doesn't do that. And also the little toy, I'm guessing it's from the game, but also there's a physical one there. Did you just order a bunch of stuff that they make, or did you make them for this? That's the thing that I want to know. You can always make a friend, so what else you can depend? Boogie bot. The fun will never end, cause we're much too close to pray. But just maybe we could bend. And the lights went down, and the door stayed closed, and the toys soon found they were on their own. So the silence fell. Yeah, okay. I am definitely getting some bendy vibes of uh, things stopping and the factory closed and everything became evil. It is like Toy Story. Crossed with child's play. Which makes sense because the kid in both of those movies is named Andy. It's a crossover I really wanted to see. When they did the child's play remake, they did have posters uh, indicating that Chucky had killed some of the Toy Story tours, because the Child's Play remake came out the same day as Toy Story 4. I had, I had planned to do a song then, and I just couldn't make it funny. That was a problem. But the idea itself is great. Anyway, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. <laughs> Not to talk about me or anything, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. You get bigger? <laughs> We've been waiting every day since you made graves out of our casings. And it showed the shot of the boxes that the toys came in. That's a disturbing... In, in, 
insinuation that unopened toys are basically the boxes that they're in are coffins. If you're going by the Toy Story theory of toys coming alive when you're not looking. Yikes. We've been awaiting every day since you made graves out of our casings. We were made for entertaining, so forgive us for complaining. All you left for us to do was pull through tapes of safety training. <laughs> Going back old school on the VHS stuff, that's great. <laughs> also, that's just an amazing shot of Stoops playing with the spools of, of magnetic tape inside. See kids, VHS was a thing that was before DVD. Look it up, there's, I'm sure, Wikipedia about it. In the factory, what a calamity Banished their language in templates of packaging Plastic or crack to fragment it And rattling tangles and masses And batteries flattening Warranty voided insanity Vanishing pictures of splitting Their minds are unraveling I love these kind of breakdowns They do in their songs I just wanted to say that Just the, the staccato rhythm To the rhymes And and just the it, it's, it's almost like a percussive And it's just It these kind of breakdowns with the repeated pocket that he's doing is just so much fun. It's fun. They're just great to listen to in that way. Let's go back and listen to it again. Wow. And the combination of the big sets and the animation that they do, just the quality of Stupendium's videos is absolutely second to none. Absolutely outdone themselves again. Just in the first verse and chorus. Stellar work. Our little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe. Just watch. That's not creepy at all. Also, the thing, the instrument that Stoops was playing there, I had one of those when I was a kid. It was a little connect thing you put together and made yeah Watch. cuz we're destined to be best friends you and I from the second you stepped in you give me butterflies in my tummy as my hubs pulse your intestines that's a lot of teeth also an impressive amount of Fur has been used to make a, a huggy costume. I hope that's a costume. I know in the game it's not, but... Cool. I haven't even played the game. I'm gonna have nightmares. Sweet. That's gonna be fun. Give a high five to the big guy in a big hand to yourself. Now your arms are long enough to slap boxes out of the shelf. But if you nice. think the gloves and string are really going to help. I knew, I knew a decapitation was going to happen, a ripping of the head off the doll, uh, but what happened to the face there, I need to re-see. Also, I don't know what kind of toy that is with the hands, that's a thing. It's just very white teeth, that's all that that is. I thought there was an effect there, but no. Because I was busy watching the doll, and the teeth caught out of my periphery. And I was like, what's happening? But no, it's... Gleaming white teeth caused to make them look like fangs, I guess, in my periphery. But yeah, other parts can be detached as well. Uh... Ugh. Wow! It did it again. 
it it jump it jump scared me. It, I'm sitting here appreciating the amount of effects work that's been done with spinning of limbs and spinning the head around and it's almost kind of like the scene in Spaceballs when he got beamed and his head was on backwards and nobody told me my ass was so big. You know the movie. Uh, and then, and then the head turned around again and it was all cracked and scary and good on you. That's good stuff. Wow. That is a great little rhyme pocket. The Ust and Aces uh, rhyme pocket there, the, the repeating scheme through those four bars, as excellent stuff. <laughs> the name tag said Stuart Pendium. Oh man. <laughs> Stu, Stuart, Stuart Pendium, that's bravo, wow. <laughs> oh man, that I, oh, so good. Sound and music. Attached head. An army of stoops dolls. Three and up is what they say. That's a great line. Referencing how, you know, toys have age suggestions on them. For ages three and up. Or ages five and up. From ages nine to ninety-nine, or one to ninety-nine, you know, saying all children of all ages can enjoy it. Uh yeah, that's that's a thing that boxes have. Usually they say it's three and up, because otherwise it's got small pieces in it and you don't want a toddler to choke on it and die. That's usually why those recommendations are on there. Just saying. Now we're into playing way more dangerous games. Uh, yeah, if you have a thing that wants to hug you and paste and has teeth like a langolier. It's a Stephen King book and movie. The movie was disappointing. It was a TV movie. But there's a lot of teeth, is what I'm saying, in, the, in those. Teeth. Wow. Staircase by M.C. Escher. Close your eyes and count to ten. Like, you're playing hide-and-seek. You can't hide from your friends. The toys being the friends in this instance, I think. The murderous toys. Hooray. And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tools for just $2.99 a person. What time is it? Props to Stoops for the pop and lock as he crawls out the toy box. I, I just love that. That's a great line. We're just some double A's can make your nightmares come to life. Double A batteries. So, you know, unless they have power, they won't kill you, I guess. Put the batteries in. Oh no, the nightmare is going to eat my face. Hooray. Because of all the teeth.
Wow. Uh, the little ball joints where the uh, the arm and the hand snap onto. Amazing attention to detail. Amazing prop work and costume work. That's like I'm I'm on, I'm almost not even focusing on the lyrics in this because I'm just so impressed by everything that I'm seeing visually. But the song of of course a bob and has amazing lines. I'm not focusing on them as much because I'm my unfamiliarity with the game. But at the same time, I'm still there's still great lines and I'm still pointing out what I can. But there's just so much going on in this that it's just like. Everything is a shiny piece of candy that I want to see and visually eat. That may sound a little weirder than I intended, but you get the point. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> you won't be mint in box. That's a toy collector term. That's uh, that's very good. I like that. What? Stoops is very demented in this, and I dig that. The, the maniacalness. Long, stretchy arm. The dolly kind of looks like Wendy. The... The restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> In the background, the headless doll is trying to play the trumpet, but can't because the head's over here. That's... I like visual gags that happen in the background. It's very Zucker Brothers reminiscent. It's, it's good stuff. I, I dig that. Okay. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely phenomenal. Little toy piano. My cat meowing at the door. Bravo. That that was absolutely stellar work. So much production thank stuff. Thank you for watching, and a big playtime coast. Thank you to all of my generous patrons. I couldn't do it without you. I really couldn't. I'd shake your hands, but well. Here we are. If you enjoyed the video, <laughs> then why not check out my playlist of other summerific tunes. And be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and ring that silly little bell. <laughs> and if you really enjoyed, then why not check out my merchandise store or Patreon? Why that Do that. As well. oh, 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 no, there go my battery. Oh, wow, the light out of the eyes. That is an amazing looking effect. The spark goes as the uh, uh, the the batteries die, and and the actual light behind them going away. That's that's a ph phenomenal effect. And check out the uh, the sing along stupendium shirt and hoodie. Wow! But yes, absolutely, go support stupendium. Uh, check out their video without me talking over it in the link in the description below. Uh, check out their Patreon, support them. They are an amazing creator and put a lot of time, effort, and money into this, so, you know, if you enjoyed that and want to pay them back, do that. And if you want to support this channel, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those things to get the eyeballs on the algorithm working words, uh, and also if you want to see my videos early and help me out with my own music, consider supporting my Patreon at well at patreon.com slash insaneian where you get to see these videos early, my music videos early, my music early, all sorts of other good stuff, get your name in the end credits, and all cool things like that there. Yes, I think that is sufficient. This was amazing. I'm gonna say goodbye now. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.